Our first liquidity ratio is called the working capital ratio. And to understand it, we need to know what working capital is. And it's simply a number. It is the difference between your current assets minus your current liabilities. So the firm's working capital basically looks at, can we pay our short term debts? And by short term, well, by definition, something is short term if it's current. And we define that as something that is due within 12 months. So which business would you rather be? And this is why the working capital ratio is such a good ratio because it allows us to sort of compare two businesses who might seem quite similar on face value. So looking at these two businesses, they both have assets of 100,000 and both have liabilities of 70. So which business would you rather be? It's actually impossible to tell. We need to know more about it. So if we take the current assets of business A, they've got 50 and non-current assets of 50. That compares to business B, which has 20 and 80 of current and non-current respectively. And what's interesting to note is that we look at this number here and we say, I would much rather be business A. They've got uh, two and a half times the amount of current assets as business B. But liquidity is not about that. It's not about what you've got. It's about how, can you pay what is due uh, in the short term. So what we also might want to look at is what are their liabilities? So if we break down liabilities in the current and non-current, we can see for business A, they've actually got $60,000 of current liabilities, but business B only has 10,000. So looking at that now, we can see you'd actually rather be business B. Whilst I've only got $20,000 of current assets, that's double the amount of current liabilities that are due in the next 12 months. Compare that to business A, it had much higher current assets, but its current liabilities were actually more than that. And by definition, they're not gonna have enough current assets to pay or those current liabilities. So looking at working capital, we said that's current assets less current liabilities. For business A, it was 50,000 less 60,000. This business actually has negative working capital of $10,000. Business B, on the other hand, actually ends up with working capital of positive $10,000. So whilst those numbers are good, we've got a, a negative 10,000 and a positive 10,000, we want to express it as a percentage. And to do that, we're going to calculate the working capital ratio as current assets divided by current liabilities. So looking at the example in the balance sheet there, we can see we've got current assets of 50 and current liabilities of 20. That equals a ratio of 2.5 to 1. So it measures our liquidity by comparing our current assets to our current liabilities. What does it actually mean? It means that for every dollar of current liabilities the firm has, it has $2.50 in current assets to pay them. So a good way to think about it is if I had a dollar on the current liabilities in the balance sheet, on the current asset side, I in this case would have $2.50 to pay it with. And you can see that's more than enough to cover our short term debts. If that ratio was to go from 2.5, which meant for every dollar of current liabilities, there were $2.50 of current assets. If it was to go down to 1.2, so that would mean instead of having a dollar, um, sorry, for every dollar of current liabilities, instead of having $2.50 current assets, we'd only have $1.20. We'd say that's a negative uh, trend. Our liquidity has decreased. We're less likely to be able to pay all those current liabilities than we were previously um, based on the amount of current assets that we have. If that ratio went up to 3.0, we'd actually be better off liquidity wise. For every dollar of current liabilities, we'd actually have current assets of $3, which is more than enough to fund those current liabilities. So we would say liquidity has increased because we can meet our short term debts better as they fall due. How can we improve it? It's a simple one. The number on top is current assets. So last year if it was 2.5 to 1, first option is to increase that number on top. But the trick is to not do so by increasing current liabilities. So we'd need to keep current liabilities the same. So that would mean not buying things on credit. Now the best way to do that is to sell things and get cash for it because cash is a current asset. And in this case, if it went up to current assets went up to 60,000, current liabilities are 20, we'd end up with a ratio of 3.0 to 1, which is uh, improved liquidity for this business. The other way we can do it is if the ratio last year was 2.5 to 1, this year maybe we can lower our current liabilities and we maintain current assets as they are. And if we do so, we'll end up with a ratio of 50,000 divided by 15, which is 3.3 to 1. So again, the liquidity is improved. The business can well and truly meet its short-term debts as they fall due. 